Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vloggy thing. So, VR time is almost here, and it's starting to get a little bit hectic on the Oculus Reddit subreddit. Oculus Reddit subreddit. Yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> Friday, I think it was, I got my email from Oculus telling me that my Rift order is being processed. Saturday, I get my email telling me that my Vive order is being processed. And also Saturday, I get the Steam key for Hoover, Hover Junkies. I keep calling it Hoover Junkies, and I don't know why, but it's Hover Junkies. A VR shoot 'em up kind of game that I'm really, in, really kind of excited to play. Um, but yeah, so VR is almost upon us, and we're ready to go. And I have every intention of doing videos for the Oculus and the Vive whenever I get them. And at this point, it's kind of a race to see who gets there first. I mean, like I said, Friday I got my email from Oculus, and Saturday I got my email from HTC. So they're pretty close, and I know I was a little delayed in getting my pre-order in for the Oculus, but I got it in a hell of a lot quicker for the Vive. So it's going to be a race to see which one gets to my house first. Though what would be hilarious if they both arrive on the same day. That would be interesting because I have every intention of doing a video of the unboxing of the Oculus. Completely dedicated that video to unboxing of the Oculus. And then a completely dedicated video to the unboxing of the Vive. And then a third video directly comparing the two together. Though that might have to wait until I'm actually at my office because I don't have space in my house to play with the Vive properly. And I actually measured this. I actually got out the tape measure and started measuring out spaces and stuff like that. And the biggest problem that I have is the light fixtures. In all of my rooms, I have a ceiling fan or a hanging down, like, fancy light fixture in the center of the room. I'm already banging my head off the ceiling light or the ceiling fan without wearing a headset. I don't want to be covering my eyes and then trying to walk around my room and it won't work. Shatter the glass and the light. Yeah, not ending well. There is one place, one place in my entire house where I actually am able to like not have to worry about light fixtures and that's in my living room well currently in my living room is my couch my chair my big 120 pound 62 inch plasma screen tv that's kind of really almost impossible to actually move bastard weighs almost as much as i do shit um and i spent a good i don't know four or five hours planning out, moving around furniture, trying to rearrange things so that I could free up that area in my house. And one would think it would be easy because my living room and my dining room are just, they're basically one really long room. So I figured, okay, so I'll just take this area, turn it into the living room and just get rid of the dining room. I don't really use it as a dining room. It's kind of just open space right now. I have my stereo there and yeah, that's about it. My stereo is in the dining room, and that's about it. There's nothing else there. So I figured, well, let's just, you know, put the couch in the dining room and put the chair in the dining room, put the TV in the dining room, put everything in the dining room, and then I'll have space in the living room. Well, because I have a closet in the dining room, I can't put the furniture anywhere in there where I can actually have the furniture functional and still have access to that closet. But even then, I don't really have enough space in that area to put the couch there and the chair there and the TV there. There's just... Basically, I have a okay-sized house with that was made in the 1950s, so relatively new house. And it's just me, and I don't have space to use the Vive. Little ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> 
I mean, I could do the standing experience where you just stand there. You don't go anywhere. Of course, if I do this, I'm going to shatter something. Of course, if I do this, I'm going to shatter the controllers because my ceiling, if I stand up, I can go like this and touch the ceiling. Because the ceilings aren't that high in this house. They aren't like the 11 or 12 foot ceilings that I have at my office. So that's probably where I'm going to be doing the direct comparison between the Oculus and the Vive because I actually have to be able to use the Vive properly before I can do a proper comparison between the two. So that's going to be entertaining and I get to have some real fun with it because I'm going to be way the hell overly picky with both of them. What do I expect from them? Hmm. Not a hell of a lot from either of them. I've kind of been playing a lot with uh, stereoscopics recently, so my expectations are kind of low right now. <laughs> so, yeah. That's really all I wanted to say in that. Uh, relatively short video, I guess. Uh, if you want another video, check out the video I just put up on my other channel, my museum channel. It's of the Vectrex. And this is actually a continuation of me playing with stereoscopics recently. We got the apparently uber rare 3D imager for the Vectrex console. Check it out. I'll put a link, um, card, however the hell that works. And I'll put a link in the description. And I will see you guys in the next episode. And as always, keep playing the game and have fun.